do you want to pass the Part 107 certification exam? Stay tuned. Before we begin, I just want to say that I don't pretend to be an instructor of any kind. I'm just sharing my experience when studying for my exam. If you want to study for the Part 107 exam, you have a few options. First, um, you can study by yourself uh, with all the free stuff that there is out there, or you can pay for a test prep course. And if you go that route, um, it's okay. A lot of people do it. A lot of people pass the exam uh, by going that way. But what I did is that I used everything that is out there for free and use it to pass uh, the exam. First, uh, there is a very good video out there if you're like me uh, that you didn't know anything about aviation before starting to use your drone. Uh, that's the Tony Northrop video. I'm just gonna put a link in the description to that video and that's the first video that I watched and it helped me a lot because um, it's a really good video. It contains a lot of information, very good information for you uh, and if you're new to drones and you're new to aviation, um, it's pretty a pretty simple video that can help you understand a lot of the terminology. Um, whether you know you don't know anything about uh, density altitude, whether you don't know anything about uh, weather or how the life cycle of a thunderstorm, he explains it very good and all that stuff that is on that video, it comes in the exam, you know, it may be asked in a question, you might be tested uh, on anything that is on that video because everything that is on that video may be tested. Once you finish watching the Tony Northrop video, you should look into the written materials. If you go to the FAA website uh, about how to become a certified Part 107 pilot, you will see a list of documents that are going to be there. And one important document that is in there is the Airman Certification Standards. In that video, you're going to see every topic that the FAA is going to ask you or can ask you during your Part 107 exam. Once you look into that document, you're going to see that there are going to be a lot of topics that are going to be asked or can be asked in your Part 107 exam. Also, in all the topics you're gonna see a list of documents that are gonna be referenced for that particular section of the Airman certification standard and you're gonna see that there are a lot of documents in there so it's gonna be a little bit complicated to sort out every document to see which parts of each document you're gonna look into or you're gonna have to look into so uh, a good good source for that is the Sarah Nielsen website I'm gonna put a link in the description in that particular website you're gonna see that she took the Airman certification standards and broke it down into sections and she started adding every information from each and one of the documents that the FAA tells you that you should look into. So if you look in the topic of regulations, you're going to see that there is a document that's going to be referenced there. It's the Advisory Circular 107-2. That Advisory Circular of the FAA states everything that has to do with regulations when it comes to part 107 and you're gonna see that in the Stara Nielsen website she took the regulations part and broke it down into sections and she added all the information that is on the AC 107-2 and with that you don't have to you know have the document and start looking into the document uh, trying to look at which part of regulations you are starting for example if you're starting requirements to become a part 107 pilot it's gonna be right there you don't have to you know scroll down or you know control find on the document to find in which place you have to look for that particular regulation in other topics you're gonna see that you're gonna have the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge reference or the aeronautical information manual is going to be referenced. You're going to see that these two documents overlap a lot uh, when you're studying and it's, you know, it's a little bit tedious if you have to look, you know, the pilot's handbook or the information manual uh, separately 
But Sarah Nielsen, what she did in her website is that she took whatever is on the pilot's handbook and whatever it's on the information manual and she put it on in every topic. So you don't have to be looking at these two documents separately. You just have to, you know, look into that a particular section in her study guide and you're good to go. For me, it took like four days to, you know, go through the materials once. Uh, that was watching the Tony Northrop video and go through the Sarah Nielsen um, study guide. And she added uh, also videos that are available on YouTube uh, that will help you understand all the topics. And that is a really good source because you don't have to be looking at YouTube for videos, looking at the documents, um, you know, searching through all. She packed her study guide so you don't have to look anywhere for the information. It is all there and you don't have to, you know, go through the hassle of looking into everything that is out there for free and try to sort out which parts you have to study. You know, she did it uh, for you in her website and it is a great source to study for your part 107 exam. So after I went through all the materials, uh, I did went through once again, uh, through all the materials. Now that I had already, you know, study things, I just went through the things that I didn't get right the first time. And, you know, it took me like two more days uh, to do that. Also, I watched the Tony Northrop video again. I think it was in uh, 1.25 speed. So you start to get that information uh, and through the repetition process, you know, you, you stick it in your head and it's gonna be easier to remember things uh, for your exam. Finally, after I went through all the materials, what I did is to do practice exams. There are a lot of questions, a lot of test questions out there that are for free and available and also questions that are explained, uh, hard questions that are explained and there are websites uh, that you can find these questions. I'm gonna put a link to all the test questions or the practice exams and all the uh, explained test questions that I uh, look through so you can also access them. Yes, I know this questions are old because most of these questions were you know uh, put on the internet when there was test banks like two two years ago so yes these questions are old but it helped because if you know the material if you have study you're gonna have a good time looking through these questions and getting them right and once you start seeing your results you're gonna feel pretty confident when you take the exam and you know the questions are very similar on how they are constructed so you're gonna have your questions and three alternatives so you get you kind of get used to uh, what you're getting in the exam so yes it's really good to do practice questions even though these questions you're not gonna see them actually in the exam you're gonna see similar questions questions that are created you know in the same matter to test you in the same way in summary uh what i did to pass the exam is that i watched the tony northrop video went through the materials once then watched again the tony northrop video went through the materials uh, a second time then i did practice uh questions and i took the exam and i got a 93 in my exam and i already got my uh, certificate. So for me, this was uh, what it worked. Uh, for you, it might not work. You might need uh, more study time or you might not need all that study time. Uh, you might be able to pass it, you know, easily with just going once through the materials and, you know, you're going to be good to go. But like I said, this is what it worked for me, uh, what it works for you. Uh, it might be a little different, but um, I just gonna give you everything I did uh, with the free stuff that is out there uh, without the need to pay for a prep course. Uh, if you think that you need to uh, pay for a prep course, by all means go and pay for the prep course. Uh, there's no shame in it. Everybody learns uh, differently and I know that uh, uh, from experience. Uh, 
uh, I have been uh, taking standard exam you know I've been taking standardized uh, exams all my life um, and I have taken two bars exams I have taken uh, one license exam now I took uh, the SPART 107 certification exam you know um, every test is different uh, every material is different so you need to see what works for you when studying for an exam I just told you what it worked for me it, it have been working uh, throughout my life but I know that my style of learning is different from other people and what it worked for me might not work for you and might not work for everybody so keep that in mind when uh, deciding how you're gonna study for the exam uh, like I said I'm just giving you this so you can sort it out on your own and good luck in your part 107 exam so if you like the content please consider subscribing and like this video if you want to see more videos uh, from my channel you can click here and you're gonna get all my drone law videos and you can get here my footage videos